Well, look, look, you always want to upgrade your offensive line. I, I don't think that is talked about enough. I think the two best offensive lines we played on Super Bowl Sunday, right? I mean, the uh, the the Eagles and the Chiefs. I mean, th that's they were great. And you know, a lot of people said, "How are the Chiefs O line hold up against that Eagles pass rush that had 70 sacks?" Well, they didn't give up one. Okay, so the offensive line always matters. But you know, people always talk about Russell Wilson and the sacks. A lot of those are on Russell Wilson and the way he plays. Mm. And I get it, Captain Danger, whatever he is, I don't know, you know, be invincible, whatever is, I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, a lot of sacks that Russell Wilson takes are not on the offensive line, they're on Russell Wilson. And the best way to eliminate a bunch of the sacks is not to upgrade the offensive line, but Russell has to adjust a little bit. Is that possible at this stage in his career? I'm not sure. Unlimited, Mr. Unlimited, that's what it was. Unlimited was the uh, cringeworthy post from a couple of years ago. <laughs> Look, it's great, to, it's great to upgrade your offensive line, but if your quarterback isn't aware of those things in front of him, those sacks are still going to happen. The, the Broncos did a nice job, and McGlinchey is really good, and uh, who they got uh, from, uh, from Baltimore is really good. But at the end of the day, w Russell Wilson needs to adjust. And that's the way you're going to get better play from him and less sacks in Denver.